Hey, this is Soldier Knows Best, and I'm doing a video over Firefox 3. It was just released on June 17th, and um, it's a, a much awaited release. They've been working on Firefox 3 for a long time, um, and they and they guarantee you know faster browsing, uh, more secure, more features, and just a better user interface altogether. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up for you. There is Firefox 3. I just have it going to Firefox main page once I start it up, and um, for those of you who use Firefox, you can see a, you know, a little bit of difference in the, um, just the out, out, the layout of it and the, uh, you know, user interface of it. You know, one thing they made the bat button, bat button bigger, and um, it may seem some, seem like something small, and but you know, just imagine how many times you use the back button. You use it a lot, so they made it bigger, easier to find, and easier to use. Something small like that, but hey, I like it. Um, and all new stuff. I, I haven't been a real big Firefox user in the past. Um, but with this one, I'm definitely going to be using it a lot more. Um, I kind of like the interface. Um, like here in the search box, you have, you know, you want to search something, go ahead and type it in, and you want to search it in a specific place. You got got your options down here Yahoo, Amazon, eBay, Wikipedia. I and mean, you can also add and remove, you know, different search engines. Um, see how quite fast you pick it up? Let's try to go to apple.com and go ahead and, you know, populate it with. You know the most popular searches and URLs from Apple, so it does that automatically for you. Got your home button here, gets you back to the home page. Uh, refresh, and um, those of you who haven't used it that much, um, here's the bookmarks bar. Um, basically, you can edit this and move this around how you like it, and um, and this page is just a, a fast way to get to your favorite websites. You know, without spending a lot of time typing in the URL, you go ahead and have it up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start going to a couple websites just to show you the speed of Firefox 3. Apple.com, load up less than a second. But Facebook, MySpace, Yahoo, um, Chris Live, which is a a live streaming website from Chris Perillo. If you watch Tech TV back in the past, if you're sort of a geek, then you'll probably know who he is. And of course, gotta go to YouTube. Of course, loads up YouTube pretty fast. And of course, go to my channel. Where if you haven't already, go ahead, go to my channel, and just subscribe to it, and you can catch videos like this all the time um, that I make. And you see all these other different videos that I made, all different comments from people. Um, but anyway, it's the yellow button right here. You should subscribe. And I gotta plug myself. Hey, it's my video. But anyway, I'm just trying to really show you the speed of it. Uh, this is my blog. I just started. Um, loads that pretty fast, and uh, I know it's not a lot there yet because hey, I'm still working on it. But anyway, I'll just show you a quick demonstration of just loading some very popular websites, and they load them pretty fast. Um, and one thing about Firefox 3 was the complaint was use, uh, I mean, Firefox 2 was a complaint that it used a lot of CPU usage and just used a lot of resources of your computer. Um, but they definitely fixed that with Firefox 3. I'll go ahead and bring up my activity to monitor, and that, that in Mac is like your task manager in Windows. It just shows you all your applications and you know how many resources all your things that you have running are using. So anyway I'll go ahead and show you I got Safari up and running also. I just have one tab open in that and it's Safari. CPU usage uh, get about 2.3 uh, uh, 2.3 um, Threads is only using 9 uh, real memory is using 196.91 megabits, megabytes. I'm sorry. Um, it's using 1.31 gigabytes of virtual memory. And Firefox is 7.2 of CPU usage, but it's going, it's fluctuating up and down. So it goes from like 6 to 0.2 and stuff like that. Um, I don't know why, but it's not using as much as it used to use. And it's definitely uh, being smarter on this management of the CPU usage. Um, that is only using nine threads. Uh, I was only using about 90 megabits, megabytes. I'm sorry, I don't know why I can say megabits, megabytes. And uh, so that's compared to so far as 196. So that's definitely an improvement. And it's only using you know one gig of virtual memory compared to so far as 1.3 gigs. So it's definitely more manageable, definitely you know faster, and then making use of your resources better. Anyway, that's been a quick demonstration of Firefox 3. Uh, again, subscribe to my channel, Soldier Knows Best. 
you can catch a lot of videos like this going over Mac products and different products in the world of technology. And uh, so I'll catch you later. Peace.